Uh, General Narasimhan, uh, the CDS took charge on January 1st last year. What is your own sense of, uh, you know, what kind of rationalization has happened so far? As was just pointed out, that was the mandate um, in the last 12 months. What is the update that, that you have heard of in terms of this rationalization? Yeah, before that, can I just answer that question on the two different uh, thing that you talked about? Please, sir. Uh, please understand this as uh, professionals who have been in the army for a very long time. And also, this particular issue of two-front two threat has been thought about, has been um, worked upon for more than a decade now. If you go back to 2006-07, even around that time, the chiefs of army staff have been saying about this. So this is something which is actually not new. That is point number one. Point number two is, it is not that there is no deployment on the line of actual control. On the line of actual control, there is already deployment which is existing. As much as the infrastructure which is going forward can allow you to do that. So what we need to look at is creating that infrastructure that is more required for actually uh, having the kind of deployment that you need to have. So this is something I would like to put it across. It is not that we are not deployed on the line of actual control. In fact, most of the line of actual control, we are actually deployed there. So both the two front threat and the deployment are actually being thought about, being planned for and being worked upon. I leave it at that because in the public domain, I don't want to speak more than that as far as this is concerned. As far as the racialization process is concerned, you find even before, there are a number of studies which have been done even earlier, even during Mr. Mohan Kumar's time, there is a, a transformation study that was done around that time. So the implementation process was taking a bit of time. The CDS actually has come in and he is actually looking into the rationalization process. Not only in that, plus also bringing in jointness as Ambassador Raghavan brought out. You find instead of having 17 command level, command level organizations, you will probably bring down to four or five command level organizations, which could actually rationalize a lot of manpower, integrate the resources, and uh, remove the redundancy factor. Like uh, Dr. Behra said, it is not actually very well liked by the veterans, but it is a fact that you need to look inward. And even in my opening remarks, I had mentioned this, that rationalization is very important. And that is something that is being looked into. And I think come next year, that is this year plus the next year, I think we'll see a lot of rationalization actually happening.